this is Catherine. Welcome to WL Kini. Today I'm going to show you the five most well researched and powerful home remedies to reverse kini disease. Yes, if there is something that can help to cure kidney disease and it is proven by science, it is in today's video. These home remedies for kidney disease are going to be your best weapons in fighting your battle to reverse kidney disease. Now, before I'll show you what they are, there is a comment I want to read you very quickly. Hello, my name is Scott and I'm a kidney disease patient. I am so happy to share the good news with you and the other users here at Double O Kidney. The doctor is very pleased just as I am. He congratulated me for such brave steps to protect the kidneys from any further damage. We have done it. It is a curable disease after all. I've downloaded the program you always talk about and I've started using the recommended supplements. Then I've started studying the numbers on my blood work Work, I've started taking the right supplements and her remedies and I've started eating better. It was that easy. I've started watching this channel on November 2019 and before that the last blood test I did showed the result as follow GFR 60 creatinine 98. The results from tests done on Wednesday March 11 are as follow GFR 83 and creatinine 81. People are beginning to look at me in amazement. My hair is much longer and my nails are hard and long. Also, there is a new glow of my skin. I will continue to spread the good news to those in need. Wow, amazing. Thank you very much, Scott. This is a wonderful success story and it will be an inspiration for us. Thank you very much for sharing and keep us posted about your recovery. We all want to know if you keep having improvements. So like Scott said in this comment, home remedies and supplements can be a great help in fighting kidney disease. And don't forget to share this video with anyone you know who suffers from kidney disease. These remedies can help them too. So let's see what are the five best and most well researched kidney home remedies. Our number five is something you probably heard a lot about lately. Number five, Renadil. What is Renadil and why is it interesting? This new kidney health supplement is formulated to maintain and improve renal function. It contains three proprietary strains of probiotic bacteria. Now, probiotics are nothing new actually. I've already talked about them in my videos because they can help people with CKD, chronic kidney disease. There are studies that show us they work. Probiotic supplements have been found beneficial in the reduction of urea in patients with non-dialysis chronic kidney disease. Urea is an indicator of kidney function. If it goes down, well, that's definitely a good thing for your kidney health. And these are the finds of a recent study about probiotics in kidney disease patients. Now, if a study say it works, it means that it worked for a lot of people. As usual, I'm linking these studies in the description below. The patients tested in this study on probiotics were found to have lower levels of urea, meaning that their body was able to process uremic toxins better, reducing the workload on the kidneys. What I'm saying is basically that probiotic supplements are proven by science to help you reducing the workload on your kidneys, giving them the chance to improve. Now, Renadil is a brand of probiotic made especially for people with kidney disease. According to the manufacturer, Beneficial bacteria can do more than just enhance your gut health. They can also help 
protect against the complications of CKD by decreasing inflammation in the production of uremic toxins. This dual action improves kidney function. Probiotics may also protect against leaky gut syndrome, a common condition in people with CKD that allows harmful bacteria to leak from the intestinal tract into the blood. Supplementing with a multi-strain probiotic may improve the bacterial balance in your gut lessen the permeability of your intestinal barrier and reduce the complications of CKD. Now, a fellow YouTuber even tested this product on his channel and he's going to report how the test went. I don't want to spoil it to you, but there are a couple of very interesting news. I'm interviewing him next week, so subscribe to Double Kini if you haven't already and click the notification bell to be notified every time I share some good news. Okay, it's time for our number four. Our home remedy number four is something that keeps making headlines for the incredible effects it's having on the health of people with chronic kidney disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure. And it is number four, soy. Yes, soy foods are an incredibly healthy alternative to meat products. The most interesting part, a research published on the International Journal of Preventive Medicines states that replacing animal proteins with soy proteins can have huge benefits for the renal health of people suffering from kidney disease. According to the researchers, taking soy protein by mouth seems to reduce protein in the urine in people with CKD. Now, as you may already know, kidney disease is a progressive condition, so usually slowing down its progression is the main goal for a kidney disease treatment. But in this study, we've seen much more than this, an improvement. Eating soy protein showed a reduction in levels of certain nutrients and waste products, such as phosphorus and creatinine. These levels are a good indicator of the health of the kidneys. The main responsible for these incredible results may be the isoflavones present in soy, researchers say. Soy-based foods also contain loads of vitamin B, zinc, iron, and antioxidants. They are also cholesterol-free and are linked to a lower risk of cardiovascular disease. A lot of proven benefits, right? And there is even more! Most research suggests that consuming soy products containing soy protein, soy fiber, or fermented soy reduces blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. Diabetes is the number one cause of kidney disease, and if you have it, you should absolutely find a way to fight it if you want to reverse kidney damage. Yes! There is a very interesting study showing that people with diabetes that were administered Tochi extract 300 mg three times daily for three to six months got amazing results. Tochi is a traditional Chinese food prepared from soybeans. You can find the extract as a supplement. But soy was also proven beneficial for people suffering from high blood pressure. Managing blood pressure is crucial if you have kidney problems. Most research studies show that eating soy protein can reduce blood pressure by up to 8 over 5 millimeters of mercury. These studies were done on people with hypertension and kidney disease. Yes, these results are incredible! So, how can you add soy to your renal diet? Edamame beans. These whole beans are harvested before they completely mature and are soft and delicious. They are usually eaten directly from the pod after boiling. Really tasty. Also, there is tofu. Just be careful with potassium levels. It is higher than meat and you should count it in your daily allowance. And you can also find soy extract as a supplement. Now, before starting to add soy to your diet, consider that warfarin interacts with soy. Warfarin, or coumadin, 
is used to slow blood clotting. Soy has been reported to decrease the effectiveness of this medicinal. And there could be other interactions too. This is why it is extremely important to talk to your doctor before taking any supplement or home remedy. Okay, our number three is something that could really make a huge difference in lowering your creatinine levels naturally. Number three, renal vitamins. Giving the right nutrients to your body is more important than people realize. But if you lack vitamin A, you get blindness and infections. If you lack vitamin C, you get scurvy. And if you don't get enough vitamin B1, you could get symptoms like loss of appetite, shortness of breath, and swollen feet or legs. Lack of vitamin B1 can actually happen in kidney patients. It's not that uncommon. According to the Institute of Medicine, the human body needs at least 13 vitamins to function properly. Following a balanced diet is the preferred way to get the recommended amount of these vitamins. Not so easy for people with chronic kidney disease, right? You need to limit or avoid a lot of healthy foods rich in vitamins. So if you follow a renal diet like you should, getting all the recommended vitamins may be troublesome. This is why taking the right essential vitamins as a supplement may be of great help in reversing kidney damage. So let's get a little bit in deep and see what are the vitamins you need to improve your kidney function. Because kidney disease patients cannot just take a regular multivitamin supplement. Some vitamins will be less available for your body and some others will accumulate since your kidneys cannot filter them properly. What vitamins should you avoid? The fat soluble vitamins A, D, E and K are more likely to build up in your body. This is why you cannot take a standard multivitamin. You can easily exceed the recommended daily intake of many nutrients. Vitamin A is especially a concern as toxic levels may occur with daily supplements. Minerals may also be harmful in high doses. For example, too much iron can be dangerous for people who don't need it. So what are the vitamins that you should take? Here, people with CKD or chronic kidney disease have greater requirements for some water soluble vitamins. These include B complex vitamins. B complex vitamins are grouped together, but each has a different job to do. One of the important functions of vitamin B6, B12, and folic acid is to work together with iron to prevent anemia. If you have anemia, it means you do not have enough red blood cells. This is a common complication of kidney disease and a cause of fatigue. Red blood cells carry oxygen from your lungs to all parts of your body. Additional B vitamins called thiamine, riboflavin, pantothenic acid, and niacin can also be given as a supplement. These vitamins help to change the foods you eat into energy your body can use. Vitamin C supplements are recommended in a small dose. There is concern that if you have CKD, taking very high doses of vitamin C can cause a buildup of oxalate, which can be deposited in the bones and soft tissues. Vitamin D is usually prescribed by itself. Vitamin D is important to maintain healthy bones. In CKD, the kidney loses the ability to make vitamin D active. Supplementation with special active vitamin D is usually recommended. These special vitamins are available only by prescription. Now, there are renal vitamins commercially available that you can purchase. To sum up, 
These contain vitamins B1, B2, B6, B12, folic acid, niacin, pantothenic acid, biotin, and a small dose of vitamin C. If your doctor has not prescribed a vitamin supplement, ask if you could benefit from taking one. Only use the vitamin supplement approved by your kidney doctor or dietitian. You can buy these vitamins on Amazon if you want, but don't take them without your doctor's explicit permission, okay? It's time for our number two now. This is a very powerful home remedy you can easily find in stores and that will give you immediate and noticeable results. And it is number two, bromelain and quercetin. What are these? Bromelain is an enzyme. It can be found in pineapples. People have been using this enzyme for centuries to benefit from its anti-inflammatory and pain reliever properties. According to the University of Maryland Medical Center, it is effective in reducing inflammation and swelling associated with infection and injuries in kidney disease patients. It has also been reported to reduce amyloid deposits in the kidneys. Bromelain is also very effective against high blood pressure and cardiovascular disease. Bromelain inhibits the ability of blood platelets to stick or clump together. Quercetin, the other part of this complex, is a flavonoid with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. Foods such as onions, red wine, green tea, ginkgo biloba are very rich in it. Quercetin is what makes these foods so healthy. It has been researched in combination with bromelain and found capable of reducing kidney inflammation and improve the functionality of the kidneys. This is why quercetin with bromelain is a powerful formulation sometimes used in supplements. With quercetin's antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties and bromelain's digestion boosting and inflammation preventative benefits, the two pack an anti-inflammatory punch. I've put a link in the description where you can find this supplement. Okay, before you buy it, remember to talk to your doctor. These supplements can have interactions with blood thinners, increasing their efficacy. This is why you always consult your doctor before taking anything new. Now, before I'll show you our number one, a lot of people here are using this program I have on my phone to improve their kidney function and lower their creatinine. Just like Scott from the comments I read before. Yes, there are some very inspiring success stories here in the world. Kidney people were basically able to reverse their kidney disease thanks to what they learned from this program. I'm leaving a link here if you want to know more. And our number one for today is chamomile tea. Chamomile is one of the best home remedies for a lot of reasons. While you could just drink it in the evening to aid sleep, preparing it as a part of my special kidney detoxifying tea will greatly enhance its properties. Watch this video for the full recipe 